because of what the Lord has already done for us. Amen. We can praise God because of what Christ has already done for us on the cross. When we could not do it for ourselves, Christ did it all for us. Amen. Because of what Jesus has done, because he died on the cross and he rose again just for us. Now we can worship and we can praise him. We don't have to be dead anymore. The word said that we was dead in the past, in the trespasses of our sin. But because of what Christ has done, he has made us free. Amen. And he who is free in Christ, he is free indeed. And I don't know about you, but that's the reason why we can live. It's because Christ lives in us. Amen. He lives in us. He loves us so much that God loves us so much that he gave us only to God. That whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I don't know about you, but we go on everlasting life. I want everlasting life. I want the life to live not only in this world, but also in the world to come. Amen. We're going to ask everyone to understand this time. Hallelujah. Let me be more than say, well, Pastor, I've got to wait for you. Maybe I'm sorry for say, listen, I may not be a sister, I may be a brother. But I, my praise has stopped. Don't let anything, any problem stop me. Sister Jerry was saying that to Jehoshaphat, was saying that the battle is not yours, but it's the Lord. The situation you're going through in your life, I come to let you know, my brother and my sister, it is the Lord's right now. It may not seem that you can see your way out of it. But with Christ, all things are possible to them that believe. If there is you this morning, the doors of the church is open. We want to extend an invitation to you right now. If you're out of fellowship with Christ, we're opening the doors for you that you can come and be with him. There's a main scripture that Sister Johnson said this morning. Says in 1 John 1 and 9 that if we confess our sins, that he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He is a good God. He is a good God. Will that be one who's If you have fellowship with God, and even if you are saved this morning, you may want prayer this morning. There may be some situations or things that's going on in your life. And it may be beyond your control. I want to let you know the Lord can come and help you get it in control. Yes, Lord. If that's you that wants prayer this morning, I want you to come. Amen. I want to touch and agree with you that the Lord will work things out in your life. Amen. Prayer changes things. And prayer not only changes things, but prayer changes situations. Amen. Just come on up here. Who can tell the crowd to roll? Let's just talk to the Lord. Let's just touch the sun. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Who can tell the wind to whistle through the trees? Where I'm in trouble, who's that same God that will come down?